Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we have a new topic which is about Allah and his look. Uh, please don't hesitate to copy the link of uh, the video, the broadcast and share with your friends in Facebook, Twitter, uh, any form you wish or you can. And please let me know if the sound is good or if you have any problem. <clears throat> Uh, you know that in the Hadith and Allah and the Quran too, He described Himself in many places. So, when the Muslims they speak about Allah, they have a certain idea about Him, but yet nobody saw Him, and Muhammad Himself never saw Allah. But if you see the the way Muhammad and his God describing, which means supposedly Allah describing Himself, and the way Muhammad described Allah, <clears throat> you would think that Muhammad he saw Allah, he sat with him, he talked to him. You know, this guy he knew him very well. But all of this, there's no proof, and there's no reference, except Muhammad's statement. One one man witness, one man witness for the Quran, and one man witness for the hadith which is about Allah and the rest of <clears throat> the rest of witnesses they are just witnessing for what Muhammad said which means they, they are no witness you see if I witness a statement that make me a witness for the statement but how the statement come to exist nobody knows <clears throat> so as long the hadith and the Muslim believe in those hadith that Allah is not one-eyed my very simple question for the Muslims if they are listening how many eyes Allah have and how and why Allah need eye you see when we speak about an eye we are speaking about a physical object which is have a duty have a job and that job is you know very simple reflect images which is seen by light <clears throat> and that images will be transformed into the brain and the brain translate the image into information in other way it's the same as the computer <clears throat> the computer language is going to be transferred to you as a window so you can understand what you see in the screen otherwise it's just numbers uh, <clears throat> so when Allah have an eyes why he have them and why he need them I remember the Muslims they say that Allah is all knowing all seeing all hearing all 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 how you can be all if you have certain number of eyes and they are just physical eyes how you can see everything do you see by your eyes or you see by uh, different power uh, <clears throat> please don't hesitate to copy the link of the video and share it with your friends in Skype so I mean uh, in Facebook in Twitter or any form you wish so we can have more and more people here to come and learn about Islam if we go to the hadith we can find many weird stuff about this God who is his name Allah uh, somebody describe Allah and he made one clear sign that Allah is not one eyed and he keep repeat, keep repeating that he keep repeating that and you see just to show you to show you the the uh, the, the this is the Muslim translation not my translation the message of Allah said there has not been people who has not warned this ummah which mean this nation 
and actually by Muhammad saying that he is just being a stupid fool for he just you know just he, he get himself busted because he just said there has no prophet before me to warn this ummah which means uh, you know the people of the Arab at least I mean at, at least Quraysh <clears throat> at least the people of Quraysh he's speaking about the people who was around him Uh, he said there has not been a prophet who has not warned his ummah and it's supposedly he is warning his ummah about someone and that one is a Dajjal a Dajjal supposedly the Antichrist and he is one-eyed and he is a liar behold he is a blind in one eye and your Rub which is an Hebrew word Allah is not blind but this is not really uh, what what the Arabic saying in Arabic saying so he is not one-eyed this is why I always say when somebody try to uh, to to debate Islam from the Muslim translation you will see how much they lie in the translation However, we can still get them busted if we go just a few lines. We will see better translation. Look like the one who is translating this hadith here is is doing it on purpose to lie. <coughs> Let us see. Uh, all this description for the the person who will be an antichrist, he is one eye. Okay, all this description about the one eye person who is supposedly the Antichrist. So now, if you see anyone, he is an Antichrist. I mean, he is one eyed. Uh, that's it. He is the, the Dajjal. I mean, this is very funny. I mean, to say that if somebody is one eyed, he is the Dajjal, that is the very silly thing. I mean, uh, the one who is a Satan, the one who is the devil, can't he have himself make look like somebody coming with two eyes? I mean, Muhammad, he says that the, the, the shaitan, he can come to you as a, as a snake. He can come to you in any form he want. Even he can come to you as an angel. So now, how we will find out that this person is the devil and he is the antichrist because simply he have one eye. Well, he can, he can change that as long as he is super powerful. As long as he can take any form he want. And now, look what he said. There is never a prophet, this is a better translation from the first one, the first one, ha, uh, who has not warned the ummah, which means the nation, of that one eye liar, behold, he is one eyed, and your Lord is not one eyed. On his forehead are the letter Kafir. <laughs> Oh Lord, Abdul, the Dajjal he is coming to us, and supposedly he will lie to us, and supposedly he will hide his ID. But yet, he have one eyes, and not only that, he said he wrote in the top of his forehead, Kafir. <laughs> Don't you think this is too much? <laughs> All right, tomorrow I'm going to go to Pakistan and I'm going to hide myself. Huh? I will change my ID. I will change how I look like. And I will write in the top of my forehead the Christian prince. I mean, who is the dump here, you or your prophet? Huh? Don't you see here there's something stupid and something funny? Same time we go back to the one eye of Allah. I mean Allah have not, don't Allah don't have one eye. How many eyes he have? Any Muslim? How many eyes Allah have? Two eyes, three eyes, seven, eleven eyes. 
and those eyes why he have them you see Allah have hands Allah have legs Allah have a foot Allah have a shin Allah have five fingers and Muhammad he said I am the same as the middle finger now but yet how many eyes Allah have and why how he can use them do Allah have an eyes 360 degree so he can see everywhere or his eyes only in the front based on the hadith they are in the front so how he can see his back I'm just asking a very simple question you know a Muslim he might say to us by the way will Jesus have two eyes well this is very normal Jesus God he came to us as a, in the in a, uh, he took the form the flesh of a human being but God do not need eyes even the Quran says that Jesus he tell them what they hide in their houses without going with them which means without using the eyes the Quran confirmed that he tell you what you hide what you store in your houses who confirmed that even the Quran saying that so Jesus he can see even as a as a man in the flesh he can see what no eyes can see but Allah have two eyes in the front any Muslim would like to call me and say something You know, uh, this religion, if you ask just simple question, the whole religion is really messed up. The whole religion is messed up. This religion cannot stand a very simple question, no, no, no matter how simple it is. Just ask a question and you will see things is, is you know, like it, is, it went in chaos. Do Allah wear sunglasses? Do Allah? Why Allah have five fingers? Why not six fingers? What he would do with the middle finger usually? Don't you Muslims need, like you know the Muslim they say how God can be a man, but who is your God? I mean, look at your God. Your God have two eyes. Your God have uh, five fingers. He have a foot. He have a shin, and he have a. a, a, a uh, uh, face he have a front he have a back uh, so what what kind of God this God is now Allah have two eyes and he is not blind in one eye is that going to make a difference your God is still a blind and we can prove it your God is still a blind and we can prove it you see the purpose of eyes is knowing Knowing what? Knowing what is around us, what's happening, seeing things. It's about knowledge. At night, if I go from my bed, I want to go to the kitchen, uh, even though I am used to my house, I do not need a light, but you might hit something with your foot by mistake. Even though you know it very well. So we turn the light on so we can see. We have the eyes still. But if we don't have the light, we don't see. And this is how the, uh, how the eyes work. So how Allah can see? Uh, do Allah need eyes in the darkness? But as we know, eyes are useless in the darkness, especially if it's a total dark. You see the eyes, like if you are a, if you are a person or a, a creature or an animal who live in the darkness, total darkness, then uh you know you uh your eyes will will go blind forever you know they wouldn't they wouldn't because they will be useless they will close so when we say allah have eyes that's mean he have needs to function and number one needs for the eyes is light as simple as that if we go and check, uh, there is a creature, it's called Pat. You know, let us see. 
May the same is to our paths. All of those are eyes. You know, choose one for you, Muslims. Ah, uh, come on. Let us go and search for our uh, path. This creature, he is blind. He is totally blind. But he have eyes, actually. He does. But his eyes is gone. They are useless. Because simply they are in the dark. So Allah who live in the space. And he have eyes. What his eyes can do when it is totally dark. Any Muslim? You see the 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 path. He have a radar system. He have a very complicated system. Actually, he can he can even he can uh, he can make a judgment as if he have eyes by just the sound. He have like what it's called the the ecosystem. So if Pat, he have such a system, why Allah he need eyes? And you know, can Allah really, uh, I mean, the, the, the sense of Allah, which is based on physical uh, 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 body parts like uh, his ears. Allah have ears. Allah have eyes. Allah have he feel. You know. So, is those things are really super powerful or they are limited? The hadith prove that Allah is limited with the sense of the parts he use if we go to the hadith we will find the following and please read with me Muslims <coughs> and this is a sahih hadith so you cannot say this is weak and you know those, those uh, mascara and drama of weak and strong our Lord the blessed and the exalted uh, descends every night and actually this is will open for us another problem for this God who descend every night okay this God he descend every night why what is the reason for Allah to descend every night is that because he is all knowledgeable or because he is not knowledgeable at all let us see why our Lord the blessed the exalted descends every night to the lowest heaven when one third of uh, the later, later part of the uh, of the night is left so Allah come every night in a certain time at the last third of the night Muhammad he divide the night to three thirds one to you know so the last thir third is uh, where Allah he come every night that's forever every night right now not you know to like right now he is Allah is down somewhere because as you know here is daytime in USA there it is 4 a.m. in the morning and somewhere else like if you go to a South a South Asia right now it's almost 5 a.m. in the morning why Allah he go down every night the answer is very simple he come down every night and he ask he ask a question who is praying for me who supplicates me who who is supplicating me so that I may answer him okay so then the, the purpose of this journey is to know 
who is supplicating me? Why, Muslims? Can't Allah knows who is supplicating him without going down all the way from the seven heavens, seven eleven, down to the lowest heaven? And do you know what does that mean? Now, let me explain to you in uh, in Google. Hold on. <clears throat> I hope I'm not offending you, Muslims, because you get offended for any reason. I don't know why. Seriously. But it's okay. Feel free to be offended anyway. Who cares? This is Allah. Let us assume uh, for sure the earth is a flat according to Islam. But we will go with this. And we will prove it actually from this hadith that the earth is a flat. So let us say right now Muhammad is in Saudi Arabia. Okay, this is Saudi Arabia. Let's zoom in. All right. We will make the space bigger. All right, this is Saudi Arabia as you see it in the front of us. We will make it facing the top almost just to make it more clear. All right, then Allah is going to come down every night, every what. Every night, what what? Every night. I mean, that's how many times I need to repeat it? Hey, come on. Unless you are deaf like Allah. So if we say that Allah is located in uh, here, Allah in the seven heaven. And we are going to draw seven lines, which is presenting seven heavens. All right. Seven heavens. So this is heaven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven almost there okay so now Allah in order let us make the earth smaller all right yeah a little bit bigger okay now Allah is going to come down every third of the night all right that's mean Allah have to travel as the following he will go down, down the road, going through the first heaven, the second heaven. Actually, the first one is a seven heaven. The seventh, the sixth, the fifth, the fourth, the, uh, 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 the third, the second, the first. So Allah is going to stop here. Allah right now is in the lowest heaven. That's wonderful. Now Allah, what he do? He sit there and he say, anyone is praying for me? Anyone is supplicating for me? And Allah, he open his ears and he listen. Ah, yes, Zakir Naik, what do you want? Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, it's the plan of theme. That after that theme, me Allah protect the that after theme. Thank you very much, Allah. Allah, I have a request for you. Allah, can you make my beard grow for the sake of Allah? I use all kind of fertilizer in the earth to grow my beard, and it's not working. As you know, we are in Asia. We have a problem with our beard. We are not too hairy. So, can you make us grow beard like the people in the Middle East, my friend? Thank you very much. Now, Allah, He heard Zakir and Naik. So now Allah is going to make Zakir Naik beard to grow because he deserves to be called a sheikh. What kind of sheikh without a beard? Go and ask Shabir Ali. His beard is going, uh, growing like, like a broom. So now Allah is in the lowest heaven. And now he is asking his followers, what do you want? 
call me. Hmm? Call me baby. Do you remember the song? Call me baby. The question, Muslims, if Allah is all knowing, He is all seeing, He's all hearing. I mean, cannot He do it from the from the from His house? What happened to the all-knowing? He lived here. You see where he live? Here. Why he need to go every night? I mean, this is not fun. This is God. You see, I have a long trip to go. And from now, I'm preparing myself. Because it is like six... Uh, actually, oh, no. Because I'm, I always look for a cheap flight. Because I'm a poor man. That's very not normal. I, ch I choose like uh, the cheapest uh, uh, ticket and that will make me fly for 24 hours. You believe it? Honest to God, actually, some, sometime even more. Because it's more than one stop. You know, if, if you cannot afford to pay uh, uh, two or three thousand dollars for a ticket, then you have to handle it. And I'm worried about it. It's really long. It makes you so uh, exhausted and not, not, it's not fun. But Allah... The Almighty, who is Almighty, yet the poor guy, he have to travel every day through the seven heavens, going down stairs, stairs number seven, stairs number six, stairs number five, number four, number three, number two, number one. Finally, he arrived. What Allah he do? He put the chair there. By the way, when Allah he move from this point here to this point here. Do he bring his chair with him? I mean, he move with his chair or he move alone? What do you mean where I'm going? People, they invite me to do a seminar and I want to take a vacation too. You know, I'm going to commit suicide after this. Of This, this is stupid religion. Don't I need a, the, the vacation? <laughs> My friend, this religion... Yes, it's funny, it's a stupid, but you know, time will come and I will need the break from it. So I do the seminars. The seminars I do is my break, really. I, I like uh, it's still, I do my duty, I do my mission, but it's kind of a break for me when I do seminars and go overseas. The Muslims, are you with me? Now, as long as Allah cannot be inside His creation. Okay, right now Allah is here. Is he inside his creation or not, Muslims? When Allah, he arrived to the lowest heaven, which means heaven number one. All right? Heaven number one. Oh, I'm using Arabic numbers. Hold on. Heaven number one. Is Allah here is inside his creation? How you Muslim you say to us Allah cannot be inside his creation? Then any Muslim have an explanation? I mean, this story here has a lot of contradiction for the concept of God. The Muslim, they say God cannot be inside his creation, and here we go, he's inside his creation. The Muslim, they say Allah is all-knowing, all-seeing, all-hearing, and here we go, Allah, he have to come down every day to ask who is calling me, who is supplicating for me. Allah, he have to travel from point A to point B, which is from the 7 11 heaven to the first lowest heaven, and by the way, the concept of the lowest heaven, I mean, this is the most stupid statement ever. You know, in Arabic, the text is so clear. Muhammad, he said, Yenzil Rabbuna. Yenzil. Let us type it for you in Arabic. Yenzil. Let's make it maybe in, uh, in yellow. That will make it more shiny on the black. Yeah. Yen zero Rabbuna. What Yen zero mean? That's mean Allah, He come down. Allah, He come down. Okay. 
this is a physical movement describing a movement and describing an action and that action is about a traveling from a place to a place and where Allah is moving whatever Allah he move he must be moving inside his creation because he cannot move outside of the creation he have Whatever Allah is right now, actually, the Muslim, the Muslim, by the way, they are very funny and very naive. I mean, their logic is very stupid. Uh, as long as we are talking about a logic, there's a Muslim, Abdul, he decided to take logic a class, philosophy. So he asked the doctor, he said, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum, salam, my friend. Uh, brother, what is uh, logic? What is that? He said, my friend, do you have a, do you have a thing at home? Yeah, what? Do you have a chain at home? The guy, he said, yeah, I have a chain at home. He said, brother, as long as you have a chain at home, that's when you have a dog. The guy, he said, yeah, I have a dog. He said, as long as you have a dog, that's when you have a uh, garden and you have a yard. He said, yes, I have a yard. Said, as long as you have a chain and you have a dog and you have a yard, that's mean you have a nice house. He said, yes, we have a nice house. He said, as long as you have a chain, you have a dog, you have a yard, you have a nice house, that means your father is rich. He said, yes, my father is rich. He said, as long as you have a dog, you have a chain, you have, you have a chain, you have a dog, you have a yard, and you have a nice house, and your father is rich, that means your mother, she worked hard to clean the house, and that means she is a very decent woman, hard-working woman. The guy, he said, this is astonishing how you know. He said, you see, we know all of this from the chain. So the Abdul, he went in the street, he asked a guy, any random guy in front of him, he asked him, do you have a chain in your home? He said, no. He said, your mother is a whore. Because the stupid Abdul learned the logic as he wish, that if you have a chain, your mother is a good woman. If you don't have the chain, your mother is bad. And this is how the Muslim they work their logic on other people. They ask us, do you have a chain? We say, no. You say, oh, your God is false. You don't have a chain. We have a chain. Do you have a chain? No, we don't. Okay, here we go. How your Jesus can, uh, he can be God? Huh? You don't have a chain. Your God is a human. Your God uh, eat. Your God don't eat. No, our God don't eat. Okay, your God have a physical body. How his eyes work by the solar system? When you Muslim, you say to me, Allah have fingers, Allah have eyes, Allah have shin, Allah have nose, Allah have mouth, I have five fingers. Those things, how they function? I mean, do he uh, he install solar panels and he uh, you know get energy from the space? Don't you see Muslims that you are very weird? I mean, seriously, you Muslims are very weird. I hope I'm not insulting, am I? I'm not. <clears throat> What's wrong with this religion? Allah is unlike anything. What do you mean Allah is unlike anything? Allah is like everything and he's weird actually yeah he's unlike anything in many things but he you know he is physical being who cannot hear from far away why Allah cannot hear me when he is located in this area here I will give you three reasons he is using AT&T and his reception is bad his phone explode because he bought Galaxy 7 or six, whatever they call it. I mean, why does God need to come down every night just to ask who is uh, praying for me? And as long as Allah, He come at the third part of the night, you must then pray five times to He will go, Allah will not hear you unless you pray in that time. Only in that time, Allah will hear you. And by the way, this is the time where Muslims, they are asleep. Nobody is praying.
Do we have any Muslim here have an answer? So this religion have a mental issue and simple question will destroy it. So now we go back to Allah having eyes. <clears throat> you know, I'm not good in drawing, so forgive me, please. Always when I draw an eye, you know, uh, I do it if, uh, uh, you know, as somebody is working a horror movie. So this is an eye. Man, this eye is scary. It looks like a cave or something. So Allah have two eyes. Like what the heck with this eye? I mean, I am the worst to draw anything. Allah have a nose. All right. Abdul. Allah have two eyes and he is all seen. Which one is more powerful as his parts? His eyes or his ears? You know, when the Muslim they say Allah is all seen, does that mean he is he see an image but the mute one? To, to give an example, security cameras, not all of them, they have uh, sound. You know what I mean? Some of them they have, some of them they don't. All right. So when Allah, he is all-knowing, is he see without hearing anything? So if there is a guy, his name is Abdul. And Abdul right now in Saudi Arabia, he is doing what the Muslims do at night, humping the camel. Allah is going to see the guy and he going to hear him or he will not, he only will see the image. If somebody curse Allah and he is now in the seventh heaven, like right now I'm talking supposedly to say Allah in the seventh heaven. Huh? And I say Allah is a is a fake God, he's a stupid God, he does not even exist. How Allah knows how what I'm saying? He can only see me. Do we have any Muslim here having um, he don't like what I'm saying? Please don't like what I'm saying. What do you mean I can draw? I am the, I am the most horrible person who draw ever. I used to take almost zero in, in a drawing class when I was a kid. I hate it. Anyway. Uh, this religion is stupid, is weird, is mad. Same time here, there's a very major problem in this hadith. Anyone notice what is the what is the major problem? Anyone notice what is the major problem in this story? That Allah He descend every night at the third part of the night. There is a really a major problem. You can tell us what is that. The flat earth because how Allah can come in the third part of the night unless all the earth have one third third part of the night in order for this hadith to be accurate and make sense that means the earth is a flat earth actually there's an atheist website <clears throat> I don't know if I can find it uh, let me see they have a drawing <clears throat> they are Arab atheists, you know, they are getting Allah busted too. Uh, just to show you how the Muslims, because they have a nice drawing there. <coughs> let's see. Let us see. <coughs> Maybe we can find. Uh, 
Uh, let's uh, see. Um, there is an there is an image actually I saw it long time ago, but uh, it might be hard now to see it. Uh, here we go. The Muslims actually they have a Photoshop. They have a Photoshop for a rock flying, and they are saying the Earth. The proof that the Earth is flat, as the Quran says. This is an image was uh, uh, taken by the satellite, proving that the Earth is a flat. We believe it. Those people until now they are teaching in their Islamic schools that the Earth is a flat, and don't ever believe anyone who say it is not. They are liars. Nobody went to the moon. Nobody went to the space. This is all is a video games. They fool you, and it is a lie. And this is how the earth look like. It's a flat earth. And there is in the top of it, Allah will come down every third of the night. You know? Every day. Sorry, I mean every night. So this hadith actually is enough to prove that Allah is limited no matter how many eyes he have and no matter how many ears he have still he cannot hear us unless he get close to us he have to go down inside his creation and he claimed that there's one time for the whole earth he come in the third part of the night and he claimed that he go back up again I mean look at this if Allah he goes down every third of part of the night, that's mean he go up again after he finish. So based on this, based on this, Allah he goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Okay, guys, come come back tomorrow. Down, up, up, down, down, up. Uh, anyone call me? Anyone hear me? Up, down, down, up, up, down. Allah, are you tired? Man. Allah, why you don't order a credit card, mileage card? Do you know how much money you can save for your trips? And you know, when Allah is going through uh, the space up and down, let us go back to Google. Peace upon Google. As long as Allah is going up and down, and we are assuming up that it's, it's from one direction, but the fact up is everywhere. I mean, up and down is everywhere. I mean, like a, uh, this is this is up, down, up, etc. You know. It doesn't matter where you are. I mean, but Muhammad, because he thinks the earth is a flat, that's what, why, why he's saying yanziru, which means he come down. But the fact if Allah came from here, he is not coming down. He's going up. If he come from underneath of the earth, if we can say so. Now, when we say somebody he move from place to place we need to explain something else about this issue here which i find it very funny and very stupid but what we can do we are talking about islam and when you talk about islam everything is possible and the most important possibility in islam is being stupid so uh, allah is going to go from this point here Let me make it yellow. I think yellow is better. <clears throat> Allah is here. This is where his house is. Let us let us draw the house of Allah. Allah have a tent, by the way. He don't have a house. 
they call it Taos, but it's fact it's the tent. So maybe we can make it like this. Allahu Akbar, look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful that and it's very lighty. Look, it's yeah, they look color look perfect on it. MashaAllah. Now, as long as Allah He is traveling, taking the highway from here to here. The question for the Muslims how fast Allah is. How fast Allah is. Any Muslim can answer us? Allah is going down every day, every night, from the third part of the from the seventh heaven to the lowest heaven, and he is moving between A and B. How fast he is, and how long it take him to pass all this distance. Do you want to call me nightmare and tell us how Allah come down every night in the third part of the night? Do you have an answer, nightmare? Who is a Muslim have a, have an answer for this uh, problem? We have many problems in this story. That Allah, he come down every day in the third part of the night. Which I find it very funny and very stupid. And getting Muhammad busted. Anyone? Somebody send me. Uh... I don't know what is that. Do we have any Muslim have uh, have an answer? How long is it going to take him and how far he is going to travel? Call me Nightmare, call me, let us see. I'm sure Nightmare he have an answer. Do you have an answer Nightmare? Let's go back to the hadith so we can see what the hadith is stating again. This is the hadith. Who is the smart Muslim? He is willing to answer us. Allah have eyes, Allah have nose, Allah have ears, Allah can see, Allah is all seeing, Allah is all hearing, Allah is all knowing, but yet he have to come down every day to ask who is asking. Yes, Nightmare, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead, people, they are, they are hearing you. <clears throat> okay, you hear me? Yes, Nightmare, go ahead. Okay, so the hadith is saying that Allah you, you check with the scholar hadith or you interpret the hadith on your own? You give me the interpretation, no problem. And you can give me the, the scholar's interpretation. And this is the scholar's inter interpretation too. However, you give me, give me the interpretation. Give me the correct one. You don't, you don't use scholars. You interpret it. Hadith listen, listen, listen. Don't tell me I don't use the scholars. You Muslims have no scholars. And you are not a scholar. And your scholars are not scholars. All of them, they are dumb, stupid. Because all of them, all of them, huh, they disagree with each other. So which one you choose? Choose for me a scholar. I will, I will go and get it. Choose for me. No, no, no. Just, just to show you. No, just, no, no. Uh, we will play the no, same game every day. Every day you call, I will play the same game no, with you no, to show no. you how how no, dumb no, how dumb no, your no, answer no, is. No, name no, for me. Name no, me. No. Name for me the scholar you agree with, and I will accept whatever he say. What? Uh, uh, no, no, no. You are the one who say the scholars. Name for me the scholar you accept. Uh, 
Oh, everybody who is a scholar is a scholar for me. I so, accept so, a scholar. Okay, so you accept you accept any scholar interpret, interpretation for this? For 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 this hadith? Yeah. Of course, I accept the interpretation of the scholar. And this, I have to check with the scholar what the scholar said. What the scholar is saying is different. What you are saying. So. How you know what the scholar is saying is different from what I'm saying if you never saw a scholar explain this hadith? Of course. How told you I don't? I have okay, to then, okay give me, then give me a name. Give me a name of a scholar who he agree with you. Who don't agree with me. Give me the name. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read for you, you are, what the scholar is saying. Okay, okay? Who, who is the scholar? Tell me his name. Okay, let me, let me check his name because I have here just... Uh, so you do not know his name. You just open a random website, and you are getting now. You are, now you are start read. Now you start reading. Sheikh Muhammad Saleh Al Munji. Well, so this is not a, this guy. He's he's alive in Saudi Arabia right now, right? What about you? Give me a Tabari, Al Qurtubi. Give me a real scholars. Who is this guy? This guy is alive in Saudi Arabia right now, Muhammad Al Munji. Who is this guy? You don't accept this car. You want uh, no, no, no. I no. It is, this, it's not about accept. Is he really a scholar? What make him a scholar? This guy is a sheikh. He exists right now. The scholars we talk about those who they are close to Islam. Like give me an explanation. Happened by someone is close to your prophet from his time. You're a prophet saying it clearly. Our Lord come down every night. So what explanation you want to give me more? I mean, if the hadith need explanation. Our, our, it says, our Lord come down every night to the lowest heaven. So he is naming timing. He is naming location. And he is naming what he do exactly. So what does that mean? So you try, you try to tell me that uh, the, the, your interpretation is well said. I do not need interpretation, my friend. Listen, your prophet gave the clear answer. It says there he come no, down. No, no, no. no. You're, yeah, listen to me. Listen. If you have a scholar, Christ <laughs> Muhammad has your interpretation. Let me know. Which one? Okay, okay. No, give me, give me the scholar. Give me what the, your scholar, the one you like. He said. I'm the one that I found in the website. They say this is. Okay. If this one descend, it if it looks like the 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 descent of the created one. Okay. If, so, Allah Ta'ala Falana Alam Kaifiat Nuzul. As for Allah, we don't know how he descend. Ah, so but now, so now, okay, okay, guys. So, this is now the smart answer. This is the scholar he chose. Allah, he come down, but you don't know who, how he come down. Who cares? He come down. I'm not asking you how he come down. He take a car, he take a taxi, he take a cab, he take a limousine, he take a motorcycle. I don't care. You Muslims are very funny. So the, all this argument to say to me that yes, Allah come down, but we do not know how he come down. Who care? He come down. No, no, no. But it doesn't look like the, uh, the our descent. It doesn't matter. You just said, you just said no, he no, come no, down. No. He come down, but not no. like others. What do you mean not like others? He come down. You just said he come down. Listen, did you say, did you say he come down? Did you say he come down, but we do not know how he come down? He, this is what you say. Yeah, we, 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 we don't know how that it doesn't uh, matter, that but he come down. The, the issue is he come down, come down. It's mean he is coming down as simple as that. We do not need interpretation for this. So you Muslim saying, okay, Allah, he come down the same as you show everything. Allah have five fingers, but we don't know how his finger like. Allah have two eyes, but we don't know how his eyes like. Allah have a leg, but we don't know how his leg lo look like. Allah have a foot, but we don't know. You know nothing about Allah, no problem. How Allah come down? You don't know, but He come down. That's mean Allah is moving yeah, from but, point. But even in Christianity, the question, the, the question, the question, the question. What do you mean? No, we saw God. God, God come to us in the flesh of a man. Our God is a spirit. Don't have a look. What you, what you mean? I'm, our God, you our God is not a physical creature. Our God is not a physical creature. He's a spirit. So the spirit of God. If you see the God the way He is. Not like your God. Your God is just a physical being. And we spoke, me and you, about that before. And you admit that you do not know that your God is a spirit after 50 years of your age. So your God, the spirit, no, does not exist. Your God, the physical being, is exist. He have eyes, he have fingers, he have a foot, he have a leg. And now he is moving from point A to point B. Listen, we are talking, listen, listen, listen. Nightmare, nightmare. Your God, as long as he is a physical being, and he is moving, 
that's mean a physical object is moving he is a physical being so when you muslim you say we do not know how we move that's it just because if you're ignorant you are just trying to make it more mysterious doesn't matter it's a physical object you have a shin you have a leg you have fingers you don't know how they look like who care they are physical Allah have a chair do he move with a chair without chair you not know who care but he's moving and where he's moving he's going down down where can you tell me down where what down mean what down and up what, what down and up mean for God we are in the empty space a space to say down to say down it's mean he's above us but the earth is not a flat to say to say I'm going to come down to you that means I am stating that you are in one location and that is underneath of me immediately directly so if I say I want to go down and this is down supposedly you are here all right and now I am going to go down to you so I am located in this area I will go down to you okay and you are waiting for me no problem but that's mean Islam don't believe that there is earth which is not flat for the only way to come down is to be from one direction otherwise the same down I'm saying I'm calling it down is going to be up from the other side this is up now it's not down no more so which one is down which one is up and which I one is down? I already give you the, what the scholar says. He's uh, okay, okay, no problem. Just, just, just go. You, you told me what the scholar says and we laugh. And we, and we agree with you, scholars. You Muslims do not know how Allah travel. Who, who care? Because you are dumb. So you call me and you we, like this guy is excited. He search in the internet, Google, blah, 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 you know, and he got an answer. So the answer confirm what I say in that Allah, he come down. I never say Allah, He come the same as any creature. Maybe He's faster. Who care? <laughs> Guys, Allah is not like any creature when He come down. He come. He don't use my motorcycle. The creatures they use motorcycle. Who care? When I say Muslims, they have a little brain. Actually, they don't have a brain at all. Their brain is priceless, by the way, because it's never been used. How he come down? Who care? He come down. This is the issue. You see, God come down. How he come down as a man? He walk on earth. That makes sense. To be between us, but not because he cannot hear us from heaven. So we can see him. For nobody can see God and live, because of his glory. So he humbled himself. He took a form of a human being. Now Allah coming down every night. And now the Muslim they try to make the issue is about Allah don't come like every human, you know, or like a creatures. He come in down a different way. It doesn't matter. He just come down, and he is moving inside his creation. This is space here, which Muhammad he described as seven heavens, which is taken, I believe, from the name of seven eleven. This is space here. is a space of dimension which mean it has a dimension and when Allah he move inside it that's mean Allah is smaller than his space he is contained in the space so how Muslim they say that God cannot be inside as a creation isn't it the space as a creation or he borrowed it from somewhere Did Allah shrink his size when he moved inside the space? Like he's so big, but he maybe he make himself a flat tire. He took some air off his ass. How Allah he shrink? It's so clear that you Muslims are so confused and you have no idea what you are talking about. This prophet, he keep talking and the much he talked, the much he made poo-poo. Boo, 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 boo. Muhammad, what are you doing? Man? Muhammad, shut up, Muhammad. You, you are a disaster. Allah, your Lord, will dumb the sun that for you every night at the third part of the night. Like, Muhammad, are you sure? I swear by Allah, He will come every night at the third part of the night. And He will say, Anybody call me? 
Anybody is a playing for me. I'm here. I'm here. You, you, you. What do you want to say to me? Christian with you. What do you want to say? Allah, you are the most stupid God ever, ever, ever. How huh, Christian Prince? I did not hear that one. What? You are the most dumb, stupid God ever exists to the mankind. What? I, I, I have a bad reception. Call me later. Call me later. Because Allah, he hear what he like only. So Allah have two eyes, and why Allah need eyes? You know what the heck? Why he need eyes? Eyes? Uh, where where is the eyes of Allah? Allah have a face. Is his face three hundred sixty degree? No. Because Muhammad described him the same as a man. And even he is saying to the Muslim, "Don't be confused between your God and the and the and the uh, and the blind man, with, which the one who have a <coughs> one eye." So he have two eyes in the front of his face, at least, or maybe three eyes. We do not know, which is going to be funny. Maybe seven eyes. Who care? But he have eyes. Why he need eyes? Eyes is a physical part of the body, which have a job and a duty to reflect images. And those images will transform it through the nerves as a messages and the brain translate them into information so the human being can recognize what is around him as simple as that and if Allah have eyes that's mean he have nerves don't tell me we do not know it, it says eyes why Allah use the word eyes because it's eyes why Allah use the word hands because it's hands like this guy he mentioned to me in the book of Ibn Taymiyyah he mentioned to me Ibn Taymiyyah before and he claimed him as a scar if I show you what Ibn Taymiyyah he said about Allah you will not believe it but I am assuming that Allah he come down every day at the third part of the night because his eyes is not good enough to, you know you see there is a problem with the eyes of Allah let me explain to you uh, there is some security cameras they are eyes with ears I'm sure some of you have it actually uh, I mean myself I have uh, uh, I have uh, security cameras uh, I, I just use it when I go like overseas so I can see what's what's going around uh, those cameras they have ears and they have eyes hold on so Allah have eyes but now he is in the seven heaven here but he have a problem he can see what is in the earth his eyes is really strong but he cannot hear so what he do he need to go down all the way from the seven heaven down close to the seven eleven and then he asked people anyone is uh, calling me anyone is invoking me why Allah do not know without coming down he's all-knowing don't he all-knowing all hearing all seeing the fact he is based on this he is all blind he is all deaf and he is all and knowing No, actually, I installed a security camera because uh, in the year 2013, I think, a bunch of teenagers, I was overseas, they broke into my house, and they, I have a little safe, which have no money in it, so they, they, they carry it and they run with it, and it have, like, just document, you know, stupid kids. Yeah, so since then, I did, uh, you know, I did install a security camera. Uh, <laughs> well, we really want to talk about where the seven heaven is coming from. Obviously, there's seven heavens. It's it coming from a legion. You see, there's the Quran confirmed that there is seven earth, seven earth, and seven heaven. Seven earth and seven heaven. And those seven earth and seven heaven, they are similar in everything. 
and the Quran says that Allah He created from the heaven tibaq. He made He made them like liars. And the top, the Muslim they say to you, this is the atmosphere, which is a lie. You see, if you read my book Quran and Science in depth, and the deception of Allah, you will see how I got the Muslim busted with their lies. The same verse they make it about the atmosphere. It's the same verse they make it about the galaxy. But depend on the lie they are trying to create. So when they want, that verse is about the seven. They say that atmosphere is seven layers. The fact that atmosphere is not uh, seven layers, four. So they add more names just to make it fit with the sky. But the sky, but the Quran says that Allah in different verse, Allah, He created the stars in the lowest heaven. So is the lowest heaven is the lowest layer of the atmosphere and that will get them busted but they assume that you do not know you know they quote for you a certain verse just to make you to fool to make fun of you and to deceive you and that's very normal for Muslims to do the decent Muslims are not exist uh, <clears throat> In the front of me, there is a scholar is explaining how Allah He come down. He says, the same way, the same Allah, the same way as Allah He come down is the same uh, Allah He went up. We do not know how. <laughs> Who care? <laughs> and we look at the explanation, guys. The Muslim they squeeze their their head. I'm sorry, I mean their ass so hard, and now they are trying to explain to you Allah coming down and Allah going up. So what they say to you after all the squeeze and thinking, deep thinking. We do not know how Allah come down and how Allah come up. So what is the answer? So this is the interpretation? What is the interpretation? This is a stupid, dumb religion. If those are your scholars, I mean, you, you are doomed. That religion. Uh, the more you speak to Muslims, the more you see how crazy this religion is. Any question? You ask to the Muslims, they say to you, you better see the scholars. You show them what the scholars are saying, then right away they deny, deny the scholar, especially when you explain to them. In the beginning, they like the scholars. This is why you see this guy, Nightmare, he is so careful to say, I accept this scholar. Yes, he's a scholar, but if he says something, he doesn't agree with him. Crazy, crazy religion. Do we have any? Uh... By the way, if any of you feel like converting to Islam, because obviously this religion is you cannot you cannot beat this religion. I mean, this is amazing. This is astonishing, man. I, I'm I'm getting dizzy. The God is all knowing, but he thinks that women she get she get to breathe it because she have a sperm, and her sperm is coming from her ribs. And now a Christian prince, and then now he is single because he is so scared that one day he will marry a woman, he will take her to the bedroom, she take off her clothes, and then instead of finding two breasts, he find two testicles. And this is the God who is all-knowing. He knew it, that women have a breast, testicles. The God, the all-knowing, he told Muhammad that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. This is the God who all knowing. I mean, who can who can fight this God? This God is all knowing.
you can convert to Islam, my friend. Just raise up your uh, your finger, one finger. You know, even the Muslim when they convert to Islam, they say Shahada. They put one finger. I mean, why you are fingering Allah? They put his finger like this. Ashadu Allah ilaha illa. What does that mean? Are you stupid or what? And why you are saying the Shahada and you name Muhammad with Allah? Who is who is your God? Allah or Muhammad? They say to you, we are not associating Allah with a man. Why Allah? He have one hundred twenty-four thousand prophet. What about when you say shahada? You name them all. The only nice about this religion, for those who have a, is it's only nice if if a person he have a problem with his penis, because my friend, this religion, for Allah is all knowing, you know. He Allah is going to give you an ultimate penis. You can fight brosly with it. You can be a karate movie. You can be the terminator of the world. Just use your penis. He will give you a super powerful penis. And Muhammad he said, they asked him how he do how they do ifin in the heaven. He said, Dahman Dahman. I don't want to describe for you what Dahman Dahman mean, but I'm going to hit with my hands so you get an idea. You make your hands like this. That is Dahman Dahman. I mean, is that a prophet or is a pimp? Prophet, how we if the women Dahman Dahman? Who can beat that? Just read for my coming book, which is about Islam and sexuality. And actually, some of you yesterday they told me, give me an idea to 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 call the book what Fifty Shade of is it Forty or Fifty? The name of the movie. I, I never watched this movie, and I'm not really. What was what is the name? Fifty or Forty? For uh, Fifty Forty Shade of a Gray. So I'm going to call it. Maybe they are saying why you don't call it uh, Forty or Fifty Shade of uh, Islam. Fifty shade, okay. I will change the number. I will make it seventy because Muhammad he, he stuck with number seventy. Everything in Islam is seventy seven 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 seven. Jesus said in the Bible seventy. If you you forgive to your brother like seventy time, Muhammad he took it and he stuck with it. Anything is seventy. However, my friends. We have to admit that Islam is the most amazing, beautiful, smart religion. You like it, you don't like it, it's truth. Who can deny that? Nobody. Nobody can deny that. It's proven, it's true, and there is tons of proofs. And if you don't believe me, go and watch the video of Harun Yahya. <laughs> And I get this guy busted. Uh, 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 I wish this guy he will dare to say, I want to debate you. Madness, man. This religion is suffering from madness and stupidity. And nobody will excuse his brain if he have one. Nobody. Now, as long we we mention this, uh, let us see another hadith about Allah, the All Knowing. <clears throat> let us go to the book of Hadith. We go to different hadith. <clears throat> Oh Lord, guys, read with me, please. I'm seriously getting dizzy with this amazing, astonishing religion. <laughs> Muhammad is speaking about something is very unique. The Messenger of Allah said, "Who's talking? The Messenger of Allah to who? 
to the Muslims. Who translate? The Muslims. Who wrote the Hadith? The Muslims. Who collect the story? The Muslims. So there's no Christian witness in here and there's no Christian story part of this story. The messengers of Allah said, the first person with whom Allah will shake hands would be Omar. Like, what the heck? <laughs> hey, Omar, how are you, my friend? Allah, how are you, Allah? Give me your hand. Shake hands. Shake it, shake it, shake it. No, not that much. Come on, you broke my hand, man. You are so strong. You are Allah. I forgot. I'm just Omar. Uh, I said, what, where you are leaving? What by? A Muslim saying bye? This is a modern Muslim. A Muslim is saying bye. That's that's good. Huh? So Allah, the first one will shake hand with him is Omar. Why? Why not Muhammad? What happened? Isn't it Muhammad? He said, I will be the first one to be resurrected in the judgment day. So why Allah will shake hands with the first person who his name is Omar? Who is Omar? <clears throat> Any Muslim have? Uh... Hey Allah, can you shake hands with me? No, Christian Prince, I hate you. <clears throat> Allah, can you shake hands first with Muhammad? He is the he's the prophet. He is the best of mankind. No, no. I will shake with hand with Omar. Not only this, look at look what he said more. And he, he is the first person to be greeted with the salam. Assalamu alaikum, Umar. Who is saying that? Allah to Umar. Like, what the heck? The king of the kings saying assalamu alaikum Omar. I mean, this is an insult. Guys, we are talking about God. Who is imagine a soldier and a king they meet? There is nowhere to compare between Omar and God the Almighty. And what the, what what Allah He said to Omar Assalamu alaikum. It should be the opposite. You salute God, not God salute you. And then, and the first person who will be taken by hand, oh my Lord, I'm getting dizzy. You see, I decide to commit suicide, I'm going to get married. Any women would like to marry me? That's it, I cannot take it no more, man. I'm going to, I want to die. Omar is the first one who Allah shake hands with him. The first one who Allah salute him. Assalamu alaikum Omar. And then he take him by hand to heaven. I'm so glad he did not take him from his leg. Yeah, hey, Omar, hold my hand, hold my hand. Thank you, Allah. Thank you. Where are we going? To the bathroom. What's wrong with those people? This is a religion. Hey, I said, how are you? I said, I said, how are you? I said, do you want to call me, my friend? Trust me, I will do nothing. I will shake your hand, shake hand with you, and I will. I will say you, I will say assalamu alaikum the same as Allah did to Omar. Do you want to call me? Any Muslim? This is a religion? Okay, uh, Muslims, Muslims. If the hand of Allah is not the same as our hand, how the hand of Omar can fit in the hand of Allah? Unless it's a small, it's a hand of a man. You know, you know what I mean? How the hand of Omar, who is the hand of a man, is going to shake hands with God. Unless God, his hand, 
is the same size and he can shake it because they would shake hands you know what shake hands mean shake hands doesn't mean that you are just holding the hand you shake you shake shake it shake it break it shake it we 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 shake it so we are talking about a man shaking hand of god And you are asking me why I will commit suicide? This is crazy. Call me baby. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know. I'm really, I'm so disappointed of Allah and his prophet. This prophet, he keep talking. The more he talk, the more he do poo-poo. You know, once in uh, one of the seminars I did, uh, <clears throat> I start saying to them, when Muhammad he says something stupid, I say this is what everybody in the church they say poo poo. <laughs> then the minister of the church he told me we never heard this word in the church before. I mean, but because you are different, we allowed it. I said I thank you. <laughs> I say look what Muhammad said. Do you see how stupid that is? What is that? Everybody say poo poo. It is poo poo. Muhammad is making poo poo. Imal Asad, what Imal Asad? What is that? Is that you are speaking to me in Urdu? My friend, speak to me in a language I understand. I am from the family of Allah. I speak Arabic. Either you speak Arabic or you speak English. Yeah, you know, there's there's only there's only way uh, to understand this religion. First of all. You need to learn how to read between the lines. You see, many people they read this hadith, but they didn't see anything. Proper, but there's no problem. You know what I mean? If you give the hadith to anyone, he read it, he will not find the problem. But if you know really how to read deep and analyze the information in front of you, and you think deep, you will see how stupid the story is. I speak Urdu too. You know, I always just uh, speak to Zakir Naik in Urdu. Actually, nobody knows save Allah. What is the language Zakir Naik he speak? It's not English, it's not Arabic. It's an umbrella language because when he speak, he spit at everybody, especially the one who the first uh, line in the chairs. Bilifitr. Bilifitr. Quite a pretty thing. In the book of Thinid ibn Nada, the hadith number 13, 12, 13, 13, it said that when Allah he, the companion of the Prophet Umar beat up in him, Allah will take hand with him. If you think about it, my friend, it's very, very common sense. This is the first time Allah he, Umar. So, what do you think was going to happen? Either they will hug each other, give me a hug, or kiss, or take hand. Allah will not do the first one. He will not do the second one. So he will do the third one. What's the problem? I mean, think about it. Allah did not kiss Omar, but he missed Omar. Allah did not hug Omar, but he did not hug Omar. I mean, he, he missed him. So what he would do? There's only one option left, shake hands. That's very logical. By the way, if you like to shake hands with Allah, you can make a donation for us. I have a connection. I am an Arab. All right? I have a connection. I know the secretary. They can put your name in the front line, and you will be from the first. Actually, I can take the name of Omar out of the list from the TV. The first, I will make your name in the first if you make a donation right now, right here. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. I mean, who can beat this religion? This is amazing. You don't listen any uh, email? Uh, look at the Muslim line. He is here listening to me and he don't listen to me. Oh, he's deaf like his God, who is all hearing. I bet you, you are born inside you and your, uh, your breast testicles lady is going crazy. She's a it's a female.
Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim Abdul here? He have something to say. Trust me, my friend. Allah will support you. Allah take Allah was with you. I mean, why you why you why you think you will not make it? I mean, if Allah is with you, who can fight you, man? My Bible says, if God is with me, who could be against me? What do you say? Huh? What do you say, Muslims? <clears throat> Oh. Let me show you another hadith. Uh, let us see if I can find this one. All right, let's see. Hmm. I don't think this one can be found in English, but we will give it a try. Oh, we found it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I thought the Muslims will never, never, die, you know, would never translate this one. All right. Guys, read with me. Let me, I'm not going to read, I'm not going to analyze this hadith. Let us see if you guys learn how to get Muhammad busted without my help. Who was going to give me the first mistake? Who was going to give me the first mistake in this story here? The one who gave me the first mistake, I will give you the chance to shake hands with Allah. But you better wear gloves. Water? Hmm. What water? Okay, what about the water? Read, read with me, please. Read me, me, read me. Guys, read carefully, read carefully. There's something horrible there. Actually, there's many mistakes, many mistakes. One of you mentioned that the cloud, the cloud is not, is an error. What is the second error? Water, what is the second error? Third error, which is very important. Actually, I believe this is the most important. Nobody noticed yet? What is left? Come on. Air. <laughs> Guys, Allah is above the air and air is above him. Below, which was air, and above, which was air. And this is Allah before he created the universe. There is a cloud, there is air, there is water. And Allah is between the air. There is air above him. There is air underneath. <clears throat> I mean, that's something. Who can who can debate this? Nobody. I mean, Allah is all knowing. Allah is all knowing. Guys, look how smart the Muslim. He's speaking in, in YouTube. We have like almost 150 people listening live. And he's asking, where are you from, guys? So every one of you now is going to tell him, where are you from? I mean, do you see how smart the Muslims? Look what we are talking about. Look what he's thinking about. And you wonder why Muslims are dumb and stupid and they want to commit suicide? He go to a YouTube forum and have hundreds of people is, uh, chatting. And he's asking, where are you from, guys? So now let us start. Uh, 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 Ardian, where are you from? Max, where are you from? Think twice. Come on, everybody tell him where are you from. I mean, come on, Muslim, do you have a brain? Answer the question here. Do you see a screen? Who cares where they are from? I'm black, blonde, African, American, African from Japan, looking for a brand new wife. 
Are you happy now? Now answer us. What what it's mean that above Allah there is air and under Allah there is air? I thought above Allah there is nothing. <clears throat> yeah, you can call, no problem. I will give you I'll give you the uh, 60 seconds to shake hands with Allah. <coughs> Actually, my throat hurting me. I drank I drank coffee. I miss it, you know. Call me, my friend. Call me. Oh. Any Abdul? Anyone wish to call, you feel free to call. You know? Teradam, 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 Teradam. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, brother. I'm brother. My name Muhammad Atmanallah Mumtaz speaking to you from Pakistan. Brother, I have a question for you. The Quran is the book of the Almighty God. Why the Quran is called Quran? Any Muslim can answer? Why the Quran? It's called Quran. I bet you all of you Muslims have no idea. What Quran mean? Any Abdul? All right, we have a caller. We have a winner. You, uh, uh, Pierre, you are going to shake the hand of Allah because you are the first caller for today. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, sorry. One, sorry, one. sorry. I can't. I can't. No, no, I can't give you the prize. Sorry, you are not the first caller. Nightmare, he, get, he did it before you. So pff, forget about it. You like? Oh, shucks. You want to put him online then? No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying he, no, I'm saying he called before you. So he is the one who would shake hands with Allah, not you. I cannot give it to you. Sorry. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Can I give him five bucks on top of that? Well, uh, if you make it eight, I can change the name list and forget about Nightmare. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll make it ten bucks then. All right. <laughs> My brother, yes. Christ be with you and all of our brothers and sisters and the lost souls of the Muslims. But the one thing that is keeping that keeps bothering me and the question keep popping up in my head. Why haven't we ever seen any miracles from Muslims or any invention or any construction that is make them so proud? I don't agree with you. Hold on, let me stop you, please. You are not being truthful. Okay. Who is the first one who used suicide belt? Oh, that's true. I forgot. See, he's lying. See, this Christian, he's lying about Islam, my friend. See? Those Christians, they lie. They say the Muslims don't have invention. They are the first one who do suicide belt. Yeah, but they went into uh, a thousand poopoo -poo when they blow up. We want something constructive. We, we have we have another call. Let me take the other one. I call me back after two minutes, please. All right. Let us see. Just to give a chance to others to share. Hello. Oh, we have two calls right now, and I don't know what happened. We lost them both. You guys, you call all of you at the same time? Call me back, Pierre. Call me back. Sorry. I thought it's a Muslim calling me. I don't know. Because, you know, Muslims come first. Uh, let us see who is calling here. All right. Yes, Pierre. Muslims comes first, brother. Come on. Uh, uh, Muslims come first. Sorry, Muslim, because Muslims they will give me a blessing 
And but however, if you pay more, I can take your phone call before the Muslims. Well, I already sent you ten bucks, man. Uh, you, you know, a business like a business is business is business. The Prophet he said before you Allah he said before you speak to the Prophet, provide your najwa. So Najwa come first, my friend. You have to pay first. No, uh, no money, and no doctor. Sorry, Doctor Phil is busy. Okay, Jose, like I have, I like money. Grammayuna. What am I? No, I'm, okay. Besides the suicide belt, and seriously, and uh, them going in ten thousand pieces of poo poo and destroying uh, their own kind, unfortunately. What other invention beside the moon? Like they, they, they really screw our head. Forgive me for using that option, but they screw our head with the moon splitting and crap. But they have nothing else to show for. I would love to hear one miracle, one beside the suicide bombing. If anything else concrete have, has ever happened, even some of their scholars in the um, Saudi Arabia, they keep saying. What did the Arab invent? Nothing. You know, there's an uh, there's an article about the, um, the what what they call an Islamic scientist, and the article showing that all those scientists who they call them scientists, they are not even Muslims. All of them either they are get killed, or they've been kidnapped, or put in prison, or tortured, for they've been accused to be an apostate. Today, the Muslims, they say they are scientists and they are so proud about them, but those people, they've been tortured, get killed, traced, chased, just because they are who they are. Starting from a Razi, a Razi, you know, there is, is a, a Razi, they, they have a tafsir, it's called tafsir a Razi, you believe it? A Razi oh my God, no. was chased like a dog, yeah. and they accuse him to be an atheist. And etc. Because Arazi, he was try, try, you know, he was trying to use his brain, and he rejected a lot of things the Muslims believe in. So the second you don't agree with them, they call you an apostate. The same as happened to Ibn Khaldun. The same as happened to uh, uh, all the philosophers, all the scientists, all anyone in Islam have a little knowledge. He try, he's a smart. He try to study and research right away. They call him a kafir. So those people, they were called kuffar in the time of their lifetime. And now they are praising them to be scientists. And they are proud about them. That is showing you the hypocrisy of those people. There's so no, there's, no uh, uh, yeah, 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 there's no, there's, there's no nation in the world don't have some people are smart. That's not true. It doesn't matter if they are Arab or not Arab. It doesn't matter who they are, Pakistani, Indian, uh, uh, Middle Eastern, it doesn't matter. Every nation has a smart and they have normal, naive people. But the problem is no, with, no, no. with the religion of Islam, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, anyone who says something, which, like, let us say, if a, if a scientist right now, he say the earth isn't a flat, he's in trouble. Okay. If somebody, he says, uh, Allah, Allah, uh, uh, like no, there is there is a there is a Muslim scholar, he was killed just for saying the Quran is created. And right now, anyone, even if he's a Muslim, even if he says Shahada, even if he pray five times a day, if he say the Quran is created, he will be killed. Oh my God! Yeah. So uh, look, night, 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 nightmare, uh, nightmare, saying, light. nightmare, saying that the Catholic Church did the same to the to the to the scientists. This is false. The, the name for you, the, the name for you as, as an example, as an example, the name for you, Galileo. Galileo was not taken to court because he said the earth is a flat, or because the, the Bible says clearly the earth is, is not a flat. The Bible says clearly the earth is not flat. The Bible says that it's the same as the circle of the earth. So there's no way they can go in to capture him for that. Galileo was speaking against the Pope as an authority, it was politics. As simple as that, he's asking people to make a to make a revolution against the Pope. That's all. So it was politics. Politics have nothing to do with the flat Earth. For the Bible, before Galileo even speak about it, thousand of years ago, the Bible speak about the Earth how it looked like. There is many lies. They are mentioned. Take, uh, Jesus was found through a star, his birthplace. 
Yeah, but, so but this network to be yeah. rotational. Yeah. I mean, any any blind any idiot could uh, figure that out. Yeah, but you know the the the, the story is Muslim they fabricate a story saying because they are copy paste. Somebody he said uh, Galileo was killed for this reason, but if you go and search, you will find that this is absolutely false. And right now, if nightmare, he say Allah is a spirit, the Muslims will kill him too. If you don't agree with them, <laughs> say Allah is a spirit. <laughs> Poor bear, bear. Yeah, if you say, you yeah, you just say, just say Allah is a spirit, Allah has a spirit, they will kill you. Because this is not, uh, that's hey, it. Did you hear the latest news, uh, CP? About uh, the Kaaba, apparently there's a direct light coming from the Kaaba towards the heaven. Oh, this is not this is a, this is a scientist. This is not in the news. This, <laughs> this is a this is a video. I made a video about it like ten years ago. Oh, okay. I, I saw it. Maybe you you were talking about them. I saw a video. Yeah, it's, days it's ago yeah, it's me. It's me. This, this is my video. They're so proud of themselves. Yeah, but uh, let me explain to the to the to the, to the uh, everybody here how stupid the Muslim okay. when they say there is a light was coming from the Kaaba. Let us say this is the Kaaba. <clears throat> Mecca is here. Okay. All right. Now, yes. if Mecca is here, let us show it in the screen. We will make it facing the space. Okay. This is Mecca. And now there's a light. It's coming up. Light coming up. From, from the desert to the heavens. Yeah. Okay. Which is going to be like this in this direction. All right. This is alone a proof that the Muslims until now, they are dumb and nothing changed. <laughs> because because if the light is coming up it's mean this is up that's it this is up this is up yeah. <laughs> but but mecca after 12 hours is going to be here and this will be up <laughs> so the x-ray will exchange direction muslims <laughs> is the x-ray is, is the x-ray coming from the listen now. listen listen is the x-ray coming from Allah or coming from the Kaaba it's coming from Allah uh, uh, yeah so how the x-ray how the x-ray how the x-ray will be coming from Allah when he is down here sometime here and sometime sometime he is there and sometime you know those people they have a madness nobody want to use his brain for a second how the X-ray will well, go? Which direction? Is he is he up twenty four seven? I thought he takes some nap. No, uh, no up. I mean direction. Like, up, uh, up Wednesdays <coughs> and Thursdays, he doesn't look when. No, no, the I, birds I, are, no I mean are when, doing the little girls. When we say when we little, when we boys. say up, when we say up, we Something mean like that. we mean a location. We mean when we say up, we mean a location. All right, we mean a location. Yeah, so yeah, this is I up. Know what you meant. So this is up, but is this down now? But after 12 hours, the Kaaba, actually the Kaaba right now is down. Right now, no, actually yeah, the Kaaba right now, the, East, yes. the, the Kaaba, no, the Kaaba right now is up, sorry. And actually the Kaaba right now is here, here, you know, in this location. It's going, the sun is, is rising right now in, in, in Mecca, all right? So soon it's going to be totally up. So how this religion function and how this how this world works, nobody knows. I mean, stupid madness. Anyway, I, I anyway Pierre, I apologize from you because uh, somebody is trying to call many times. So we will take his no call. No problem. Thank All you, right. brother. Thank God you, my friend. You, huh? Thank you. Thank I you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. All right. We lost the call. Uh, call again, please. Uh, it's a madness religion, stupidity. It's a, you know, Islam is religion of wonders. Hello. Hi, uh, just a small request. Uh, sure. You sure. know, I'm not, not, it's not maybe <coughs> to do it at night or whenever, just um, basically if you're able to. Uh, talk about you, you you've done it before you know a sort of x-rated islam um about islam you know which you're gonna write a little bit about the book um so i just thought if you make a section of some of the x-rated stuff i know you've done it before like, like what like a sec because i want to cut a video 
and I want to call it Fifty Shades of Islam. You see, you know, I, I know you've done it all over the place. Yeah, but, but, but what 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 do you mean exactly to speak about? Well, it's just and how things they believe, like um, you know, Muslims. Um, you've got the bit where, for example, you enter into a market. Um, what um, what they will do in heaven? You know, the, you know the endless penis. You yeah. know, the but you know what the, the, the issue is, my friend. The only way you can do it, like now, well, we have this uh, two hours video already. Uh, uh, the better way is you download the video and cut the pieces, and we spoke about many topics, and you make them whatever you want, because we yeah, we, well, just, we, we never have a video. What, that's, yeah. that's what I do. You know, um, I go and, but sometimes it's difficult to find um, always the sections because you know the videos are long, so. It can be difficult and actually sometimes when I'm trying to make a small video is difficult because I'm, I'm trying to make a short video about a certain topic but then I'm listening to the video and I'm kind of liking all everything that you say and I'm looking oh hold on this is this is I'm, I'm going too far I need to make a cut but the speech that you're making you know I'm trying to find a place where to cut it but then you keep making a speech no cut good. it no problem it's cut, uh, cut it no cut it I advise you to cut it I just name the video the way about the topic let us say now we speak about Allah he come every day above down uh, Allah he will shake but the I'm hand actually, Allah will shake I'm the hands gonna, yeah you can, cut, cut, cut it doesn't matter cut it. Allah being uh, in the middle of the two airs yeah so yeah. And also, I'm gonna try and cut the one where the first person to to meet Allah. Or or, or what about Omar? He will shake hands with Allah. Like uh, yeah, no, nobody that's, spoke that's about. The one. No, yeah. I, I do name it as to what the topic is. Yeah, I try to stick to the topic. So but and and talk. and no worry about you know. cutting it off where I am not uh, like uh, there's more to say because uh, always there is more to say. But cut it off when you th when you think the topic is complete about this uh, the story. Let's say uh, Omar shaking the hands. Uh, you know, uh, we spoke about it maybe for 10 minutes, cut it off, make it a video, and end it, the, you know, cut, no problem. People will not be bothered because they got the story and they got the, uh, they got the answer. Uh, that, that, that's what I'm trying to do. I just thought, because um, I remember you spoke before, but I think you may have deleted that video. Uh, I don't know if you remember, you spoke about, especially the Shia, you know, if yeah. you do it in a certain, it was so funny. If you do it in a certain position, uh, your boy, or if you do it in a certain night, <laughs> your boy will come, or you will come a boy, and it will be like this. It will be brown. You know? Do you remember that? Yeah. I don't know if you remember. Maybe. But, um, I don't know if you'll have that video actually. Yeah, maybe we can. Uh, we can make a video about the share alone. You know, as uh, to to make it uh, more clear. No, I'm not. I'm in long, you know, if you, you know, I don't know if you, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna go and find where you spoken in more detail about it. So I can make a video. So I can, I want to call it Fifty Shades of Islam. And you mentioned also about maybe calling your book Fifty Shades of Islam or whatever, but then I don't know if that would be a copyright, the title of the book. I don't know. So you need yeah. to check before that. No, it's uh, a, no, it's, it's the, it, it's different name, you know. No, nobody in you know, nobody own words in the copyright. Uh, okay. uh, if you are using the same title for a movie, that would be a problem. Uh, but nobody nobody own words. You see, I, because of, I register a copyright many time, and they explain to you right away that you don't own the word. Anybody can use it. You know, all what you need to do, you don't make it the same, the exact same. If you add one letter, it's different. That's it. You know. Okay. Yeah. Well, the fifty fifty shades of gray. Yeah. Was one of the but uh, you know, uh, I I feel that uh, this name is a, is a uh, it might make look my 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 book cheap uh, because the topic. I mean, the, the movie it's, uh, itself is just uh, you know. Well, it's not just a the movie. They had the book. The, the the movie was done based on the book, um, but the book sold uh, sold a lot. They they had uh, because it was a big big thing. Uh, the movie. Um, so it was a very popular thing. So the title Fifty Shades is quite a popular title. That's what I'm trying to say. So that yeah, could well, essentially we'll benefit. But also, as you're saying, you're going to put some quality stuff in there. It, it may seem like as if yeah, it's the value in the book, but I, I don't know. You know, the, the title may make a run. You know, maybe Fox News will call you and say, what were you writing about Fifty Shades of Islam or something? I don't know. Anyways, uh, anyway, yeah. uh, there, that's, that's all I wanted to request, really. Um, 
you know, because I want to make a video and call it the Fifty Shades of Islam. All right. Well, all right. Thank you, man. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Take care. There is no question that this religion is a stupid religion. And the more you read about it, the more you find how stupid it is. You know, and, and, and always Muslims, they, they make lies about their science and about, let us say, all the scientists in the world, they are Muslims. What the benefit of that if Allah is stupid? Right? Where, where is the... God and it's stupid, what I can do? Let us say Nightmare, the one who call us, he is the super smart person in this world, but his God is dumb and stupid. And he said the earth is a flat, and he say that, this, that the space is not empty, there is air. Because as you see, he says above him there is air, and underneath of him there is air which means that air is all over the earth and all over the space. So what the benefit of anyone who claimed to be a scientist? Muslims, they kill their scientists, but they will not kill their prophet and they will not kill their God Allah, for he is dumb and stupid. This is the truth. Now, who is the Muslim agree that above Allah there is air and underneath of Allah there is air? How this happened? Anyone? Where is the Muslim scientist who can explain to us how Allah have air above and he have air underneath? So obviously Muhammad is saying a stupid statement and if he is truthfully speaking from his God Allah that's mean his Allah God to stupid too so when Allah he go down from the seven heaven to this lowest heaven there is always above him air and down him air how that can work but the Bible confirm that there is an empty space if we go to the book of Job, chapter 26, verse number 7, it says, uh, let me remember the verses. Uh, yeah, he stretched out the, 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 the north over empty space, and he hangs the earth on nothing. On nothing. What the Quran is saying about how the earth is hanged, the earth is not hanged according to the Quran. The sky is hanged in the top of the earth. So the Quran says that it is He, Allah, who made for you the sky. Lift up, He left up the sky without any column that you might see. Hmm? without any column that you can see so there is columns but we cannot see let me see if I can find a drawing for this uh, issue here Let us see. There is a, there is a, uh, you know, there's some people they have a good, uh, like, uh, art work. But too bad, I cannot find it. Uh, 
Uh, let us see. Mm. Uh, too bad. I wish I can find it. You see, I, it's my fault. I, I should uh, save that uh, drawing uh, because it's really show you how stupid Islam is with images. The one who did it, he is very good in drawing. Uh, but anyway, we can uh, just focus in the verse. If we go to chapter... 50 let us go there hold on <clears throat> we go to chapter 50 Uh, this is 51, hold on. This is how the Quran explained to us the flat earth and how the sky is above the earth. Qaf wa Quran al-Majid. Qaf wa Quran al-Majid. And from his narration and the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said, in the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he says, it is an azure mountain overlooking this world, and the color of the sky is takes or takes from it. To make it simple, this is how the earth look according to Muhammad and his God. Let us make a, a drawing if we can. And again, I told you I am not good in drawing, so. But I will try to make it look like a drawing, <laughs> if we can say. Actually, maybe I need to use a space which is empty. Here we go. That's a space. Okay. So now we have a mountain. It's called the mountain of Qaf. A mountain which is called the mountain of Qaf. And this mountain is a blue. So this mountain, the high mountain, the blue mountain, is surrounding the earth. And supposedly what is between is the earth. This is the earth. Now this mountain, which is a blue, and it's rounding the earth, it is unseen for us because simply it's blue. And the sky take the color from the blue color of this mountain. And this is why the Quran says, that the earth, the sky, sorry, is left up from the earth without columns that you can see, which means there's a columns, but you cannot see. So why the sky is a blue? Because the sky is taking the color from the blue mountain. And where is the sky is located? In the top of the mountain. And who is the one? Who is reserving the sky from fear on us? It is Allah. How you reserve it? By putting the mountains. If we go in the Quran, we can find 
more details. <clears throat> Let us see. Okay. This book make you dizzy. Let me find it so I don't make your eyes hurt. All right. This is the verse, chapter 13, verse number 2. Allahu alladhi rafa'a as-samawat bighayru amdin tarawnaha thumma stawa ila al-arsh. It is Allah, it is He, who rose the sky, rose up, which means the sky was down. He left the sky up. Without any pillars that you can see, He didn't say without any pillars. That if if he say without any pillars, that will make it correct, will make it scientifically correct. But he said without any pillars that you can see. Why he is saying you can see? If there's no pillars anyway, right? If there's no pillar, for sure we will not see it because there's no pillars anyway. But he is saying without any pillars that you can see, which means there's pillars but you cannot see and if we go to the interpretation of this verse we can find the answer more with more details chapter 13 verse number two all right Allah, it is He who rose, who raised the, up the heaven. He created the heaven and He raised them above the earth. So to say He rose the heaven above the earth, that means the earth and the heaven, they were not separated. And actually, this is shows in the front Quran of a verse where it says "fatqan." Uh, you know, it's uh, you know he, he He stitched them out. They were stitched together, and Allah separated them. And this, the Muslim, they say this is the Big Bang. Which is very stupid to say, and I will say to you why. But let's go with this one first. So Allah, He lift up the heaven, He raised up the heaven above the earth, without visible support. He says, "You see them without support." It's also say that's mean they have support which you do not see. Then mounted in the throne. So he left them without support that you can see. If you see the Muslim translation, which is located in the website of uh, those who claim about science, they don't show you the true translation. They will not say, they cut the word, which it says without C. They cut only, they show you here. They show you from here to here. It says, it is he who created the heaven and raised, raised them above the earth without visible support. Without support. They take the word visible. They don't continue saying without any column that you can see. Actually, it doesn't say even support. It says uh, um, which means columns. If we take the fun interpretation, maybe another, another scholar, he will be smarter. He can get better than this guy. Maybe this guy is, uh, is stupid. We don't know. We will see. This is a Jalalain. God is he who raised up the heaven without visible support. Umd is a pearl of Imad, which means a uh, column. Do you see it? And this is a statement is a true sense. There is no actual support then praised upon the throne. So a Jalalain don't agree. Why a Jalalain didn't agree? Because he is a new scholar. He is not from the time of uh, Muhammad. The more you come to our time, the more 
the Muslims, they notice that this is stupid. So they try to get away from it. However, even this one who claim, he claimed to be smart, he get himself busted many times. Because there's things he cannot defend. If we go to Ibn Kathir, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Let me open the site, hold on. Okay, we go to Tafsir. The more the interpretation goes to the time close to the time of Muhammad, the more you will see how stupid the how, how stupid the Quran is, and that will be more accurate. Now Ibn Kathir is a lot more educated than all those scholars who they are exist in his time for a very simple reason. This guy he lived in Syria. He educated between the Syrian and the Syrian. They have, you know, a long run of civilization, not like the Bedouin Saudi, who have no idea what they are talking about. All right. This is Ibn Kathir. Without any pillars that you can see meaning, there are pillars, but you cannot see them. Do you see it? This is the scholar which uh, nightmare he like, but now nightmare he will say to me, "I like the to be more." <laughs> it's obvious. It says, "It says, without any pillars, you see." According to Ibn Abbas, Mujahid and Al Hassan Al Qutada and several other scholars, they said, "The heaven is like a doom over the earth," meaning. Without pillars, similar was reported from Qutada. So now they are, they, 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 they become smarter. So here we go. This is the earth. This is the earth here. And the sky is like a doom above it. But that will not really work unless there is support. Why? Because if the earth like a doom, that means it's touching this, the earth here. If the sky is like a doom. Remember the Quran saying that we rose up to heaven. We rose it. And that's mean that Allah is saying that the earth and the heaven, they used to be one part together. And actually this shows in different verse in the Quran. If we go to different verse, we will see the following. Okay, let us see. Turn the screen off. So your here we go. Chapter 21, verse number 30. What does that mean? They used to be stitched together and we separate them. The most time they say to you, this is the Big Bang. That's stupid because the verse saying, let us read in English. The Muslim false translation. Don't the unbelievers see that the heaven and the earth were used were joined together as one unit between two brackets before we cleft them asunder? Now, can this be the Big Bang? Absolutely not. Why? Because it says <clears throat> that the earth and the heaven they used to be one. The Big Bang says there was nothing, and there was an explosion. The verse saying that there was an earth and there is a heaven. All that Allah did, He separated them. And that is explained by the other verse, chapter 13, verse number 2, that Allah here rose the sky up from the earth. Otherwise, the sky will fall down on you. 
if we go to a different verse in the Quran, let me open another page. <clears throat> Right. All right. Read with me here. <laughs> and look at the stupid creation creator of this religion. Alan Tara and Allah has a caracum is a mafil order of folk or tetra, etc. etc. Why you see with some and talk about a lord. Allah is holding the sky from fading in the ground. What does that mean? But the sky is an empty space. How you how you hold the sky from fading down on earth? How you can do that? You can change the translation as wish as you wish. You know, this is Yusuf Ali. We can go to Shakir. <clears throat> Don't you see that Allah has made super venant of the whatsoever on the earth and then shipping running in the sea, etc. And he withhold the heaven from fading on the earth. How the sky will fade in the earth? Any Muslim have an explanation? This is the sky. How the sky will fail in the earth? 